Hi, I'm Denny Wildman here at Penn State University. It's a trial Dr. Orslick has kindly worked with the Stoller Group on for 2017. This trial represents six different studies on soybeans. And on my right here, we have a Czech, a group of Czech plants. And these plants are showing you some early potting, but look at the distance from the ground that you have with just planting the soybean plant and the stringiness that we have in the inner node area and how the plant looks vegetatively. We selected four to six plants in each dig for this study. Here we have an initial treatment at approximately V3 by Dr. Orslick with just the addition of extra power at 24 ounces per acre. The pod load is starting to look a little bit different in auxiliary branching of the plant and the amount of flowers that we see. The stem diameter is slightly larger. The biggest impact that we see between the samples is the amount of active rooting that we have between the use of just a herbicide application or the addition of extra power. The fine roots that you have on a plant definitely impact the uh, crop's longevity. If we're going to fill a pod, the root system must stay viable for the season. The longer that you see red nodules on your crop, the longer that you see white roots on the crop, the longer the plant has to fill its pod. And the bigger the pod loading, the larger the pod, the fatter the pod, the bigger the potential crop is. So with that, I would like to end the first part of, of our trial here comparing check to the application of one treatment of 24 ounces of extra power. This area here of the plant is a little bit darker green on the extra power side than the plants are here that are in check. 